Welcome to a Universal Yum's unboxing and snack taste test haul. Snack taste test haul. And this time we're going to the Ukraine, which I know nothing about. So this is going to be good because we're going to learn some yeah. stuff about the Ukraine. The This is like our fourth time doing this. Like always, every box always comes a little pamphlet. And inside the pamphlet, they have, you know, fun facts as well as facts about every single snack. So I will be reading little bits of that. We got our palate cleanser. Yeah. And basically, um, the first thing we see when you open up the box is potato boom. So this looks interesting. So I think this is the first yeah. thing we'll start with. This is veal and adhika, adhika potato boom. Okay. <laughs> These are corn sticks with potato, veal, and adhika flavor. Adhika. Does not contain meat though, it says. So that's good to know. Okay. Every country has a favorite condiment. The, U has, the U.S. has ketchup, Italy has pesto, Mexico has salsa, and the Ukraine has adihik, adika. Adihika. I'm probably saying it horrible, sorry. This mildly spicy sauce is made from carrots, tomatoes, garlic, and chili pepper and serves as an accompaniment to, well, pretty much anything. Now it's time for you to try it. See if you can taste the spices. Basil, paprika, chili, garlic, bay leaves. It makes up the distinctive pungent flavor. And then see if you agree with the statement. We just found your new favorite condiment. Oh wow. But like, could we, if we, if we liked it, could we even- Could we get that? Yeah, could we find it, like, anywhere? And it's not potato, it's corn. Oh wow. I already smell like a, like a- Why potato on it when it's, when it's corn? I know, it's potato boom, but then it, the first ingredient is corn flour. Yeah. So it is, it is corn snacks. Right. But they're flavored potato, veal, and adihika flavor. Okay. Well, the smell is kind of meaty. Yeah. Which is uh, a little weird, but okay. Right. Almost like a beef. All right, wait. Cheers. I don't know if I love that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hmm. There's something that we've had that tastes similar to this. Hold on. Except for the meat flavor. <laughs> You know, I think I just don't like that meat flavor. And it's only there in the veal. beginning, right? It's artificial veal, which I is probably not the best. But you taste it only in the beginning, right? And then it kind of it, it's fades a smell out. thing. It, it's almost like the smell of it is triggering yeah. me to making me think that it's stronger than it really tastes. It's not strong. But, but in the beginning, you taste it. I just don't like that little bit of meatiness. I don't know if I like that, but I could see how someone. I can see, yeah. People I can like see that. why people like this, yeah, it's not. but something's off to me about it a little bit, so let's see. We did get two potato boom chips, mm -hmm. so the second one we'll probably like. Should we try that with the second one already just to compare it? Sure. Alright, this is potato boom number two. This one I think is going to be more my style because it's onion flavor. Right. Potato and onion, potato boom, potato and onion flavored crisps. <laughs> In Ukraine, they serve a delectable dish called pan-fried potatoes, consisting of sliced potatoes fried in oil. Before adding the potatoes, local saute onions and butter, giving the dish a rich, savory, caramelized flavor. Luckily, you can experience Ukraine's oniony, oniony treat for yourself with this snackified version of pan-fried potatoes. Although we should warn you, after one bite of these, you'll definitely want to try making some of your own. We're gonna want to make some, yeah. some potato fries with onions. Caramelized onions. I love caramelized onions, so... Oh yeah, that's onion. Wait, that's not a good one. Oh. Yeah, I try to get like a full size. A lot of these little fries are kind of broken. Okay, so cheers. Mm-hmm. That one's just straight up onion. Yeah, I like that. If you you're into potato. onion. Wow, the potato flavor is pretty good too. There is a potato flavor, you're right. Almost like a buttery. How weird though, flavor. because this is a corn. It's made of corn flour. Why not just make it out of potato? Right. Like why why make corn snacks that are flavored potato? Why not just make potato? I don't know. <laughs> like this one, I could eat the whole bag. Yeah. Yeah. This is this would be easy to eat. This is delectable. They gave us a bigger size of oh, the. Oh, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, that yeah. one's bigger, right? This the the onion is smaller than the. You should switch to the tikka one. I know, I wish they would have named the bigger one for the... Oh well. Next, let's go for... I guess we're on this uh, onion style. Okay. These are golden chips. They're dill and sour cream flavored potato chips. 
So it's so, weird because they're in a box. So it looks like they're cookies or something. Right. Look and like it has this um, dip picture on it. I yeah, it looks like it's going to be like a dip or something. Right? It, it's such a so. strange packaging. And then you're supposed to like open it like right here. Like there's a little tab. Whoops. Huh. This looks like a wafer. Like the way that it's packaged. You wouldn't think it's chips. This is by far the strangest uh, packaging. Okay. <laughs> well, don't eat it yet because we gotta read about it. But so dill and sour cream golden chips. The golden chips we've selected for you are loaded with cool sour cream and fresh dill, a flavor combo found in one of Ukraine's most famous dishes. They're the most unique Ukraine ordinary sliced potato chips. Golden chips are made from mashed potatoes and then dried and cut to create delicate paper thin sheets. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. So wait, let me look at the ingredients really quick. Yeah, the first ingredient is dry potato puree. They take mashed potato and dry and it up. That is so kind of yeah. that's kind of cool. So cheers. Let's see. Yeah. The sour cream is. I don't really taste sour cream. Do you? Well, the dill was there just for a little bit. My first bite. It's, it I almost tastes, tastes very too subtle. Like it tastes. Right, it's very light. It tastes more like potatoes. Oh my anything. god! Look, I got a long one. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but I don't taste sour cream or dill. Taste the dough. You do? Mm-hmm. Very subtle. No, I like this a lot. This is a weird st concept to have it like in long. I actually like it though. Yeah. I actually like these so far the most. Even more than the potato boom. So. <laughs> I've just never seen anything like this before. All right. That was good. Yeah, uh, so far this is my favorite one. There is one snack in here that I'm really excited about. This one looks really interesting. Waffles curd with the, with chocolate. Like, this is wafers with cheese curd and chocolate flavor filling. Should be good. Yeah, I'm very interested. But we'll save that for last. Hopefully it is good. Right. So we're gonna get the candy out of the way. Now, whenever we get these yum bags, we're not really like super excited about it. Unless it's chocolate, but if it's just like straight up yeah. candy, and this time it is just straight up candy, so. Two different styles of candies. One is called Minky Binky. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll do Minky Binky first. These are assorted fruit caramels with fruit filling. See the little cartoon monkey on this young wrapper? That's the Minky Binky monkey. <laughs> 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 Why a monkey? Well, for starters, this soft, milky, sweet, was introduced in Ukraine in the year 2016, which was the year of the monkey, in the Chinese zodiac calendar. This quirky character also represents the product itself, a fun tropical twist on milky caramels. It quickly became one of Ukraine's most popular sweets. Oh. So it's a caramel with fruit filling, which is interesting. Let's just try one and split it, so we don't okay. have to each eat Hopefully, one. Is it splittable? There's strawberry oh, and there's, I believe this is peach. Let's do strawberry, I think that's sure. safer. Oh, they're actually like a caramel. They're not. I was expecting like a hard yeah, candy. Yeah, hard candy. Well, I guess I'll just take a bite and then. Sure. Did you get some of the strawberry? Yeah, that's just more of caramel than anything else. This is the kind of thing that stuck to your teeth. Coco! Caramel. I would have preferred it to just been caramel. Just caramel I don't know. Right? I'm just. Because the strawberry part reminds me too much of like cheap. Can't like Coco. Well, that was fun. That one's my least favorite, <laughs> but you know, it's candy's always our least favorite. Right. So, okay, next one is Russian ladybird, and they look like little ladybugs. Assorted fruit gummies, ooh, with juice filling. Oh, oh it's man. a gummy. I like that better. Juice filling. Lucky you, today you get to try Ukraine's Lucky Ladybird candy. Enjoyed across the country on birthdays and special occasions. What makes it lucky? According to a Christian legend, Europe was once flooded with swarms of aphids, which are small insects that cause plants to wilt. That causes incredible destruction to fields upon fields of crops. When the panic-stricken farmers prayed to the Virgin Mary for help, strange red spotted bugs began 
appearing, gobbling up the pesky aphids and saving the crops, or eventually called ladybugs. Oh. And since then, ladybugs have been a sign of luck and success throughout Europe. Beneath this candy's bright spotted wrapper is a delightfully chewy texture and sweet and tangy flavors like pear, raspberry, grapefruit, apple, and strawberry. Okay, so let's try this little ladybug. But why do they call it ladybird? They call it ladybird? Yeah. Russian ladybird. Huh. Okay, well, I'm glad that it's not a hard candy, so I'm already off to a good start here. It looks like a little ladybug. Yeah. Oh, well, it has like a, a filling. Yeah. Not my favorite flavor. No, I think of all the candies, the last one was. The caramel is better than. Yeah. As Americans, we have so many gummies and candies that exist that it's gonna be really hard for us to find. Well, we won't. We don't even like candy. the American ones either. Right. We so. don't, we're not even in love with the American versions, and and those are sometimes pretty good. So this one's kind of weird. It had like a I don't know. Almost a. An app. There's an aftertaste right now in my mouth that I don't like. All right, going on to candy. Let's do chocolate. We got two different chocolates. One is dark and one's milk. Should we do the the milk first? Roshan, another Roshan. Yeah, this is Roshan. Oh, it's the same brand that did the lady the uh, ladybug candies. Okay. Roshan's creme creme brulee chocolate. Oof. So it's milk chocolate with a creme brulee filling. Mm, that does sound That's good. That's gonna be good. The United States and Ukraine have one very major thing in common. They're both they've both elected famous businessmen as president. <laughs> Ukraine's current president is also the owner of its largest candy company, oh, wow. Roshan. Oh, wow. Um, he's nicknamed the Chocolate King. He started the company in 1966 after buying several failing candy factories from the bank. Sit back, enjoy, and try not to think of too much about the politics. <laughs> um, I, th I think it's interesting that creme brulee is a French thing and that it's so popular in Ukraine, but this is more of a French thing. I mean, it's Europe, right? So it's the neighbors. Ooh, this looks fun. So when you kind of like break it, there's like that little caramel filling inside. Hmm. All right, well. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I thought drip. about eating it in one bite. <laughs> oh, it's gonna drip. Don't taste the creme brulee too much, right? It's a nice milk chocolate. Tastes like caramel. Not creme brulee. I've had a lot of very similar stuff to this. Right. And they're all the same. Same. Yeah. But I will say the only downfall is that I didn't taste creme brulee. I tasted right. caramel. To okay. me, that was straight up caramel. It was fine. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was good. I'm just. I was expecting something totally different because of the creme brulee. I've, I've, I haven't had creme brulee too often, well, so I'm not even sure what to look for. I know it's like caramel. It's like. I know it's burnt on top. Burnt like. Well, what is it? Sugar. Anyways, on the bottom. Pudding, right? Like a. Is it eggs? Creme brulee is usually like a pudding meat, like a put, like a custard. Okay. So I was expecting like a. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what I was expecting. So, let's move on to the dark chocolate now. So this one is dark chocolate with caramel and cinnamon <clears> taste. <throat> See, this is more like my thing because I love dark chocolate and I love cinnamon, so I feel like this is gonna be good. It's called Shude Cinnamon Caramel Chocolate. Wait, it says milk chocolate? Are you are you, are you reading? Where did it go? Yeah, it's here. Oh, okay. But here it says milk chocolate, and here it says dark chocolate. That's weird. Confession, no one is eating this chocolate in Ukraine. To be clear, these chocolates are extremely popular, just not right now. You see, over 75% of Ukrainians practice Orthodox Christianity and are currently in the middle of their great fast, during which foods like dairy, eggs, meat, and sugar are strictly avoided. As this yum contains both milky chocolate and sugar caramel, given this chocolate's creamy texture and sweet cinnamon flavor, be glad that you get to try it now before it starts flying off store shelves again next month. Man. So what do you eat? They go vegan. Vegetables. But it, on top of that, no sugar. Right. There you go. So you're supposed to. Oh! You're oh. supposed to open it from the other side. Chocolates. Alright, well. Is something be, uh, supposed to be stuffed in it? Oh. It's uh, caramel cinnamon. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tastes of cinnamon. Yeah, definitely very cinnamony. Which is good, I like that. 
not too sweet, except for the caramel. Which is it too sweet anyways? Or the dark chocolate is so bitter that but kind of like that sweetness. The milk chocolate had a nicer texture. Well, it's milk chocolate. That's why, probably. It was like creamy. This is good. So which one do you like more? Um. This one just a tad bit, right? Both chocolates were good. Still, I think these chips are my favorite. <laughs> so, this is the thing I've been looking forward to the most. And this is wafers with cheese curd and chocolate flavored filling. Yeah. It's either gonna be really weird and gross, or it's actually gonna be delicious. Because we like cheese, we right. like chocolate and all that, but, but it could be really strange and I don't know, it could be bad. So wait, is oh, this it's broken one in big two? Wafer. Oh no, it's, oh, it's broken okay. in two. Well, let's cut one in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Whoops. I guess you can have a bigger piece. Oops. Curd waffles. Cheese curd is Ukraine's most popular type of cheese. Devoured, plain, or incorporated into tra traditional dishes. But making these local favorites is no walk in the park. First, a mixture of milk and buttermilk must be baked, then placed in a warm room for 24 hours. Wow. The mixture is then heated on a stove and placed back in the room for another 24 hours. It's then heated once more before being placed in a cheesecloth and then hung for 8 to 10 hours. And the result is a soft, delicate cheese that looks like a cross between feta and cream cheese with a mild, nutty taste that complements both sweet and savory dishes. So don't let their name scare you. With the flaky texture and rich chocolate taste, these wafers are seriously delicious. Okay. Alright, ready? That's weird. <laughs> this is like the fun snack. I like the whole this box. though. Yeah. It's weird. I don't taste cheese. The first bite is... Oh, you taste something weird in the first bite. But it's good. It has a nice creamy texture to the, whatever, the filling. Definitely a little strange, but not in a bad way. No, it's good. I was worried there'll be some underlying cheese taste right. I would like, but I don't even taste that. Official Yum Awards. So every box we pick the best, the second best, the worst, and the weirdest. Technically weirdest, I, I don't know. Be I a, guess, well, right? this is also weird if you think about it, but not as weird as you All thought right, it would be. Well, let's first do best. I think it's best is. Too, but I like I these. Guess. These are fun. Wow. Yeah. Best goes to these dill and sour cream flavored potato chips. Mashed potato chips. They're good. They're not like amazing, but they're. Are you sure this is best then? I don't know. I kind of feel like out of everything I've tried, this might be my favorite. The curd? Yeah. I'll give second best to this one. Sure. First best will be the curd. Okay. The worst? The worst, the candy or the veal potato chip. I think I'll put that as the weirdest. And I'll put the candy, uh, the gummy candy as the worst. Okay. So, Mickey? No. No. Wrong one. The ladybug candy is worse. And then these veal potato chips, which also are kind of the worst, are also the weirdest. But the weirdest. <laughs> yeah. So. Is the smell is so bad? I don't know. It smells like uh, it smells like like beef that you let it sit out. Yeah, on like that it kitchen smells like meat that kind of like went bad or something. I don't yeah. know. So every box has a hint, and the, I mean every box has a pamphlet at the back of it. They have a clue to the next box: golden rocks, gorgeous gardens, and a very holy wall. Rocky deserts, salty seas. This country has it all. We didn't even mention all the yums that you can eat. Mm. Popping chocolate, pomegranate, and a special nutty sweet. Sounds like Israel. Right? Holy wall. Well, in the picture, they're showing pomegranates palm and palm trees. Yeah, that's like a desert, you know, oasis, maybe. That'll be fun, Israel. It's Golden holy rocks, wall. gorgeous gardens, and a very holy wall. I don't know about the gardens, though. What's the holy wall? Well, there's a wall in Israel where people put prayers inside of. Oh. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We enjoy these boxes and we will continue to get, to get them. So, looking forward to the next one. Alright. Alright, toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs>